So, the bride and groom are whisked away, and we turn our attention to the B-plot, which involves the producer. Mr. Felsic! Getting married and leaving show business. Mr. Felsic! Doesn't she know I got obligations? Mr. Felsic! I can be your leading lady. You said it yourself. I'm useless to the chorus. Kitty, for the last time, you don't have what it takes. But I've been taking lessons. Singing, acting, and ballet. Ballet? for Swanee Lake. A little annotation. Kitty and Feltzik were a couple in real life, Jack and Sadie Adler. Now, this is a familiar comic construct, a stupid woman and her long-suffering companion. Well, at least she appears to be stupid, but in the end, she does something quite clever and makes everyone wonder whether it was all just an act. The irony here is that Sadie was actually quite stupid. Jack had to explain all the jokes to her, apparently. <laughs> Still, she had a wonderful career on the stage. Back then, the theater was the only place a stupid person could make a decent living. <laughs> this was before television, of course. Kitty, I don't have time for this. A petty for Mr. Feltzig. Not now. Perhaps nice to fiddle. Boys, I'm not hungry. Oh, then perhaps we can give you something else to chew on. Yeah, some that ain't food. What? The confusion is to be expected. Although we stand here before you in the guise of innocent pastry chefs, we are also, and primarily, a place of a certain individual. A certain individual? A certain individual. Who just so happens to be the largest single investor in Feltix Falls. He sent us here. As pastry chefs. To express his concern about Miss Vandegraaff's impending nuptials. Specifically. That if she gets married and leaves the show, then there ain't no show. Say, don't I know you? No, you don't. Do you spend any time in Toledo? Have you ever spent any time in a coma? <laughs> no, but I got a cousin in Seattle. Kitty, not now. Boys, tell your boss this wedding is never gonna happen. You have my word. We'll take your word, all right. To go back on that word would be a recipe for d d disaster. Now, we hope we have made ourselves perfectly eclair. One can nobly hope. You've just got to be kidding me. I'm trying for much. Don't chart with me. All right, all right. You can drop the pastry chef routine. Alas, we cannot. We're on the lamb. Lamb's in our tray, you macaroon. <laughs> the gangsters were played by interchangeable vaudeville duo, the Tall Siblings, Peter and Patrice Tall. They were born Abram and Maris Marissa Moslaskowitz, but were later renamed at Ellis Island by a sarcastic immigration official. They were the classic example of a Broadway gangster, full of wordplay and stylized movements, and not very intimidating. Unless you find dancers intimidating, which I do, <laughs> but for reasons not appropriate to the situation. <laughs> we'll leave matters into your own hands, Mr. Feltzig, but in the meantime, feel free to browse the dessert carousel. Try the Toledo surprise. It's, it's to, to die, die for. for. <laughs> Holy cats, Mr. Feltzig! Very perceptive. Now go potty your face. 